And we want to get to even more breaking news that we're following out of Warren. That is where a very scary situation happened. A chunk of concrete went flying right through a woman's windshield on 696, hitting her in the side of the head and knocking her unconscious. A very scary scene there. A Rod Maloney joining us live now from that portion of freeway. Rod, first of all, is this driver going to be OK? Well, uh, you know, Everard, the police are telling us, Michigan State Police are saying that uh, she has non-life-threatening issues or uh, make that non-life-threatening injuries. But the thing is, is that that could be police speak for she's lucky to be alive because she did get that boulder right through the front of her windshield. And we got a look at this piece of concrete the size of a football. And it hit her actually square in the face. The pictures are as alarming as they are frightening because this could happen to anyone. Just before 9 o'clock this morning, a 46-year-old Grokes Point woman drove westbound on I-696 in this black Buick Enclave SUV. All of a sudden, without notice, a chunk of highway broke loose and somehow flew up and crashed through her windshield, hitting her square in the face. The impact snapped her sunglasses in half, sliced open her forehead, and knocked her out. The SUV then veered into the car beside it. They both careened to the side of the highway. The airbags deployed inside the Buick. Michigan State Police responded with Warren Fire Department and quickly took the woman to nearby St. John's Hospital on I-94 in Mraz. This is the piece of I-696 sitting on the floor inside the vehicle. It weighs at least 10 pounds. No one is certain just how a cement block this size ended up airborne during rush hour, but certainly high speed contributed to it. The accident backed up traffic for miles, and a Macomb County patch crew had to come out and put cold patch on the hole left behind. It's located at Hoover and I-696. Took that patching crew about an hour to get the, uh, the the highway fixed and for the police department, the MSP, to open up the highway and finally get back to normal. But it was about an hour and a half, actually, after the accident had happened. We put in a call to MDOT to hear what they have to say about what happened out here, what they're going to do to check to see if there's a way to prevent this kind of breakage in the future. Not heard back from them yet, but we'll continue to check with them as we uh, go through our coverage. Morning live in Warren, Rod Maloney, local food. Wow, Rod, uh, thank you for the update. Knowing that speeds there can be somewhat 70 miles an hour, it's remarkable that this woman uh, is okay, at least for now.